All right, everybody, we're gonna be following the building instructions for our Boomtown Catapult. Uh, this is made entirely out of pieces that come in that Boomtown build. Just so you know, you're gonna to have to use two of these yellow Technic bricks and two of the black pins. Those are gonna come from the crane build, so you're gonna to have to disassemble that in order to build uh, our catapult today. Just so you guys know, the colors don't matter. Um, I just did the colors because it even out the layers and these are available pieces in that Boomtown build kit, but feel free to use whatever kind of colors you guys want. All right, uh, I'm just gonna go step by step. Uh, step two, we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five studs and then put this on the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, have nothing. Uh, so there's basically a two stud gap and we are just filling in bricks all the way down. Just like that. All right, step three, we're now going to add green. We're gonna offset it by two. So skip, skip two studs and uh, it just is the same on both sides, just like that. Next step, we're gonna add in our two by two pieces on the ends, just like this. And then we're gonna add in uh, a few more of those two by four bricks. Just filling this in. We're just making a nice sturdy base for our catapult. We're gonna make it a little bit higher, uh, adding in some more two by fours just so we have enough uh, room in the middle here so I can hit my catapult. All right, now we're gonna put this aside for right now. We're gonna actually build the catapult. So we're gonna start with one of our Technic bricks. Just on either end, we're gonna put in those black pins and then we're gonna sandwich it together. Okay, so it stays together because of those black pins. Step number nine, uh, we're gonna go underneath. We're just gonna go two underneath and then we're gonna add in our two by six brick, and then we are going to sandwich on top. Okay, we're gonna do kind of the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna get two studs underneath, another two by six, and then sandwich this one on top. Okay, now, on one end, and it doesn't matter which end you do, we're, we're just gonna do this because that's the building instructions. We're gonna go on the bottom so we see four studs remaining here. And then we're gonna take our wedge pieces. We've got two of them for the first layer and we're basically just kind of using these because we don't have any uh, two by four plates in our build. So these are just kind of acting as things that are gonna space out correctly. So we're, see how we're just stacking them on top of each other? So we really got two of them. If you want, you can press them all down. And then on top of those, we're gonna put a brick. And you see we use these spacers to get this brick in line with the rest of our plates. All right, we're gonna take our round piece. Now, it's not in the building instructions, but I'm gonna add in four of my Boomtown Build tile pieces just to kind of give me a smooth surface to put my ammo for my catapult in here. All right, and then we're gonna just push this down. It can go right up to the edge here. Uh, you can go one off. It's kind of wherever you wanna put it. Um, I'm gonna go one off, but again, it doesn't really matter. As long as this piece is somewhere on this arm, we're gonna be just fine. All right, then uh, we're going to build up around. I'm gonna take my one by sixes and go this way. It doesn't really matter this step two as long as the next layer um, on this next layer that we kind of close off this so that they're offset a little bit all right so that just kind of secures these a little bit and then I just gonna, I'm gonna just gonna put in this slope piece just so that whatever my ammo is right here when it comes off it doesn't catch on the lip of anything. It kind of has a smooth surface to fly out. So this is gonna be the launching end and it's gonna launch. So you don't wanna put this back here. Although you have some more of these, you could put one on this side too and maybe have a, a one by six going across. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but we're just gonna leave it like this. All right, last step. We are gonna take these. We're gonna put them right in the center on either end from each other. So those just, those little pins just go right into the hole. And one, two, three, four, five, six. 
one, two, three, four, five on this side. So it's the six from either way you count. We are gonna put this dead center right here. And now here's our launching mechanism. The last part is just gonna secure these pieces down. So when I hit, it doesn't pop up and out of the build. So we're gonna take our uh, one by fours and we're gonna go on either end of these pieces. So in here and then on either end. So we're going up here as well. We're gonna take our long uh, one by, I think 12 pieces here. And then these blue ones just sit in the middle just to kind of cover everything up so it's nice and secure. Nothing's going anywhere. You really don't need the, the gray base anymore. So if you want to, to remove it, you can. Just know that there's nothing secure in this part. So when you do launch it, it's gonna wobble a little bit. But you know, you could modify it a little bit, get it nice and secure. And now we have a catapult, right? You just press down in order to launch something. Let's just put in a Lego brick. We'll put it inside and out it flew. All right, I hope you were successful in completing this build and having fun with our little uh, Lego catapult launcher.